This tutorial will show you how to properly set up Media Composer 6 to perform Adobe eDecode using the SIR code for Adobe eDecoder Audio Suite plugin. I will first describe each step and then perform the action on screen for you to follow along. We want to first start by importing a 5.1 or 7.1 Adobe e encoded file into Media Composer, as I've done here. Drag the encoded file into your timeline, making sure that it's placed at the session start. We want to create 6 for 5.1 or 8 for 7.1 blank mono audio tracks, which I've done here. Select all of these tracks and navigate to the export option via File, Export. When the Export Settings tab appears, select Options. And specify your program configuration as Direct Out. Next, specify the sample rate as 48K bit depth 24 bit and our audio format output as wave now export this to a directory of your choosing in this case I'll name it JKL save Now import the file you've just created back into your session bin. Right click on the interleaf file you just created in your bin and navigate to the modify option in the menu that just appeared. Click on the drop down menu and navigate to set multi channel audio. You will see a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up. Just below this is a link option. Click on the down arrow and select a 5.1 or 7.1 program. In this case, we'll go with Pro Tools. Now, create a 7.1 or 5.1 audio track. Now drag the newly modified file into your timeline, making sure that it's at the session start. Now deselect all other tracks besides the newly interleaved one. Go to Media Composer's Tools menu and navigate to Audio Suite. Select the circle for Dolby E Decoder in the plugin menu. Now select the pink Activate Plugin button to pull up the decoder UI. When the decoder UI appears, navigate to the Settings tab. Activate Media Composer Latency Compensation. Because Media Composer's timeline is frame accurate, the Media Composer Latency Compensation adds additional latency to bring the total latency amount to a frame boundary. In this case, there is inherently one frame of latency in any Dolby E decoding process. So we add an additional one frame, bringing it to two frames of total latency. This allows you to easily edit the extra two frames at the beginning and relocate the audio back in sync with the video. Now go back to the main tab. And you may click render. You will see the file processing via the progress bar at the top left of the decoder UI. When the file is done rendering, the progress bar will read idle. Now that the progress bar reads idle, we can click OK. Media Composer will now apply the decode to the file in your timeline. We can now zoom in and remove those additional two frames of latency that have been added. You now have a decoded 5.1 or 7.1 interleaf file that you can use in Media Composer or export to a destination of your choice.